In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the new open type and image editing features in Word 2010. The open type features just give you a bit more control over how your text looks. So I'm going to show you three examples. And the first one is the spacing between two letters like this. So I'm going to highlight it and then use this arrow to bring up the font dialog. And that's what you're used to. And then here's the advanced tab and here are the open type features. So on this one, I'm going to use this ligatures setting and I've set it to standard only. So look what's happened. The gap between the two T's has been closed. Now that might not make too much of a difference to you in a paragraph of text, but on a large heading, you might prefer the look of that. So that's one good one. Another one is how the numbers are displayed. You can choose between two slightly different spacings. And just look in the preview here to see how it's going to turn out. And then you can choose between these different forms. This old style one puts some of the numbers partly below the line. So you might prefer that. And this here, this is a different font. Um, and all the different fonts have different amounts of changes that you can make to them using OpenType. Um, and this is Gabriola. And this has a lot of changes that you can make. Different fonts can be changed to different degrees. And this font is Gabriola. And you can change how it looks quite a lot using OpenType. So I'll show you. The thing to use is this stylistic sets drop down box. So they all have different numbers of stylistic sets. It seems to show 20, however many they actually have. Um, but you can just go through them just by clicking one, two, three, and so on. And with Gabriola, it just gets gradually more and more swooshy. If you just compare those two. And you can see now it's got that these hooks. And then when you get down to six, it has these really big swirly things. So the open type settings are another place to go when you want to change how your text appears. Now I'm going to take a look at the new image editing features. I'm going to use the insert tab on the ribbon and then click picture and choose my picture. One of the most impressive new features is this remove background. So I'm just going to click that and you can see it's really pretty good without any instruction. It knows which part is the duck and which part is the background. So it's pretty good. But you can see it's missed off a bit of the duck's face and it's missed its feet. But I can use this mark areas to keep. And it's a slightly strange tool. All you need to do is just draw a line roughly over the thing that you want to keep. And I've got its feet and now a little line for that missing part of its face and keep changes. But look, if it if it caught some areas of the background, if it got some of the leaf as part of the duck, then you could just do the same thing with this tool. Just draw a line over the thing you want to remove and then just click keep changes. And you very quickly got a pretty good cutout of the duck. The rest of the adjust section gives you these photo correction options. So let's take a look at this one. You've got brightness and contrast. So if that needed to be changed, you can just click on one of these. If you find that any one of these previews is, is just right, you could just click on one of those to change it. Same with the sharpen and soften. Or you can choose picture corrections options and then that gives you finer control. You have these sliders so you can make really precise adjustments. And then under this color menu, you can make it a silly color if you like, or you can change the color temperature so you can make it look colder, bluer, or warmer using those. And notice this option. If you want to make part of your picture transparent so that the background of the document will show through, then just click on this 
and then select a color, select a color on the image and that color will become transparent. And then in the artistic effects one, you just have some funny effects. I'm going to choose this paint strokes one. And then once you've done that, you can again choose to choose the options menu. And then you can change how much this effect is applied. So if I increase the transparency, then the original image will show through more and it will be a less pronounced effect. I can also tweak the intensity of what's happened. And notice that this is the same options box that I had for the other one, so I can change into the other types of corrections using this. And then there are other changes that you can make here. So say this rotation, for example, I can rotate the duck in lots of different ways. Or I can add a shadow or a reflection. Just by changing, pulling on these sliders, you can control how that appears. Same with the shadow. You can use one of these presets. It's not really appropriate for a duck, but it might be for a different type of image. These image editing features are really good because it means that you can perform simple edits from within Word. You don't need to open up any other software to edit your images.